Hello my viewers, welcome to this exciting lesson in Revit. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you on how you can fit a detail which is bigger than the sheet that you want to use as you start placing your views on your sheets. Now from here you see that I'm just going to demonstrate on how you can fit this beam, okay? This beam that you are seeing here on top is the same as this beam. As you can see, this is 14.4 meters. This is the same beam which is here. And you can see that the spans are the same, same in terms of the dimensions. We have 1 meter, 5.22 meters. We have 1 meter, 5.22 meters. And the rest, as you can see from here. So this method is useful, for example, if you the detail that you want to place on your sheet at that particular scale you know the sheet maybe is not enough it's bigger i mean the sheet is smaller and the detail is bigger as you can see from here so i'll show you on how you can split the detail and place it on your sheet without affecting you know the dimensions or the sizes you know of your members on the detail okay so as you can see this is how i was able to place even this beam it was quite you know long it couldn't fit here and you see that if I go back there, I just zoom in on this one. You see that you are going to see those gaps. To see. This is where I managed to not do, you know, to split this detail, but without affecting, you know, the size or the length for your detail, as you can see from here. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, if you like what I'm doing on this channel, please don't just watch my videos. Make sure that you like my videos and subscribe and make sure that you watch all the videos on my channel. You know, I produce content on different softwares, for example, Revit Architecture, Revit Structure, Robot Structure Analysis, Advanced Steel. Please make sure that you check all the videos on my channel. And for anyone who would like to learn, you know, some of these softwares, very, very detailed courses have been produced. Make sure that you check the links in the description. There are some courses. If you check them out, you might be interested in some of the courses that I've produced. So without wasting time, let's get started in this tutorial. So before I proceed, I just want to mention that I've already placed the views on the sheets as you can see here. But if you want to learn on how to place the views on a sheet, if you're a beginner, make sure that you check the card above there. That is the video where I explained on how to place the views on the sheet. So to help us, you know, do what you want to do in terms of, you know, fitting this one, the bigger, you know, detail to fit like this, I'll just select on that and simply delete it. And I just want to use this beam, okay? All right, so I'll go back here. This is beam two, okay? You see that this is beam one. This is the one which is here. But actually, I just duplicated the same beam. It's of the same size. I just renamed it so that I'm able to place it here. You see how I can fit on it. So that is beam number two. I've just renamed it as beam number two. Otherwise, it's the same beam. If I just click there, let me show that it's the same beam so that you don't doubt. You can see that all the details are the same. So I want to show you on how you can fit on this sheet, which is F4. Okay. Of course, most of you may not be using the F4 sheet, but just for demonstration purposes, I know most of you are maybe using A1, A3, as you can see from here. So let me go back to the same view. I've placed it there. Let me just add a few dimensions so that you... You see that this is the same, you know, the same detail. I'll just drag that box there. Okay. Then click outside. Then I'll go to align dimension. And I'll, I just want so that you see that you believe that this is the same detail. Okay. As you can see, the dimensions are exactly the same. So that you see that even when I start, you know, splitting the detail, uh, it will still be maintained. Nothing is going to change. So I'm just clicking, you know, those points there. And I just want to place it right there. Click, right click, cancel. Okay, so here I'm, I'm, I'm working within the sheet here, but I've just activated the window. It's as good if I just double click, you know, outside there. I can still work within this view here by just opening it up like this in this window. It's still the same thing. Or I can still go on the sheet where I've placed it. Actually, it's uh, right here where I've placed it. What is important is that you just double click like that. Then you can do whatever I want to do. The goodness with this method is that you'll be able to see how you are able to fit your view on the sheet. So let's proceed. The first thing that you need to do is, of course, to 
to if I just click outside, you see that I haven't activated the view, the viewport, just double click, then you are into it like that. Then you see that down here, we have the crop view and the crop region. You see that if I deactivate, that box will disappear. Make sure that the box, the crop region is active. Then just click once and you are able to see that we have those dots there, control, and we also have that dot vertical view break. So you're able to break at those locations. So I'll start, I want to break this part from this point up to that point so that now I can, you know, just try to compress it so that it, you know, I'm able to shorten it without, of course, affecting, you know, the dimension. So I'll click on that, as you can see, to behave like that. But make sure that you start from there because you know the position, then go to that dot and you simply drag it using your, holding your left mouse button. Then I can zoom in here. And you know, I can still, depending on where I want to end it, maybe I don't want to cut that part. I can even drag it further up to there. It's up to you on what you want to show. So I'll just go, but make sure that you check whatever is in between so that you are sure, because I want to cut all the way up to here. If I want, I can even go up to somewhere here. You see that if I release the mouse, that annotation and this one will not disappear, but I don't want to maybe go further than that. Otherwise, I'm going to hide, you know, that, you know, stir up. I want it to show, so I'll just leave it there. Once you do that, you notice that you have those two arrows, as you can see from here. So what you can do, hold your left mouse button and simply drag and make sure that it's just close enough there. Don't make, don't make sure that... It, it, it shouldn't overlap, of course, but make sure that there's a small gap there and you release your mouse. So you can see that I've started shortening. If you check the dimension, it's still intact and nothing has been disturbed. So even here, I want to, you know, to cut it there. So I'll select that one and I can even split it from that location there. Then just drag it. I want to drag it maybe up to somewhere here. That dimension will disappear. So I'll have to make sure that I don't cover it, then if I move it closer there, I can move it all the way up to somewhere here. All right, then what I can do is to, I'll use this one because I'm moving, if I move this one, it means that this one will open up, I can still move the other one. But let me use that small arrow there, okay? Let me move this one and I'm holding the left mouse and dragging it until it's close enough. I'll release the left mouse button. You see that it's shortening up. Okay, you can see that I'm almost there. So this is what you can use, you know, to you not know, to split it. Let me proceed. I'm going to split maybe somewhere here in the middle. Okay, maybe let me split from this point, from this location. So I'll select the box and I'm going to click that control, you know, symbol there. Then I want to release up to somewhere here. So maybe from here, or let me drag it a bit so that I'm able to see the kink there. Then I can just check what is in between here before I close everything. Okay, that is okay. I can even drag it up to somewhere here. Okay, now you see that that one will disappear. You know the you know the the this section. So I don't want to do that. So I'll just split up to there and leave it somewhere there. Then I'll use that drag it up to somewhere here. Release it. So we still have to to. To, to shorten it further, so let me use the middle part here, select on that, break it, that location, drag it up to here, let me just check what is in between here so that I know what I'm, you know, hiding there, but I think everything will be seen, so I can even drag it up to this point, as you can see, if I move like that, nothing is hidden, so I just want to make sure that the 800 is showing, because if I, some of the annotations will disappear, so I'll leave it, up to somewhere here and just like that then i'm going to use this arrow right here and just drag up to somewhere here you see that this one will open up again i can drag use the other one to move it up to somewhere here as you can see now it's completely within so i'll simply select you know the crop region there i can use the you know the right arrow on my keyboard Okay, no, not the right arrow, sorry. I'll just undo once. Okay, undo once again. Then what I'm going to do, I'll select on that. And I can drag, or maybe what I want to do, let me just double click there. 
get out of that you know you know crop region okay then just select this one make sure that if you are inside there you try to move you are going to mess up everything make sure that you double click you are outside you know that the crop region then you can just select the viewport okay as you can see from here this is the viewport so make sure that you are outside if i just double click that will disappear but if i just double click inside it will not appear but if i just double click outside and select that one see that that is a viewport so make sure that you move the viewport then i can just use the right you know arrow on my keyboard and somewhere there i think i'm able to see everything inside click outside and let me just clean up this one i can select once there on the viewport then just drag that dot then you know just click outside click once there hold my left mouse and drag that one there okay so what is just remaining is to deactivate the viewport no the the crop region then once you activate the view there then just deactivate the the crop region and click outside once again and as you can see everything is there if i check the dimensions everything is there so you can see where you did your break lines and ladies and gentlemen that is how you are able to fit your details again this is not just for structural engineering it can it's, it's applicable for any discipline as long as you are working in revit you are able to you know to split a floor plan and show it like this without a problem now assuming that you want to undo or what you did you want to you know to undo the break you know these break points again it's simple just click once there and then activate the crop region you see that you are going to, it's going to tell you where you had to split it all you need to do is double click then select you know the crop region all you need to do once again is to simply overlap this by just dragging okay you see that it will show that it's combining now the two make sure that you go to all those locations as you can see if i just select on that i can you know drag this one and I overlap it there go to the next one because i want to undo this one this is how you do it if you want to so you can see that it has started expanding now because i shortened the, the crop region just select on that crop region and drag it you see that you should be able to see it is right there so the crop region can be expanded like that and you are able to finish up the other points like this one let me zoom in there and simply overlap it there which other one i think it's done so this is how you can do you know the fitting of a detail which is not able to fit and also how to undo you know those breaks that you did on your detail so once again if you like what i'm doing please like my video subscribe to this channel and don't forget to check the courses that i developed check the links in the description